ready for the speed of the game and the sense of urgency that they were playing with. Um, we reacted to everything they did. We didn't get to react to anything we did. Uh, and it kind of punched us right in the face. Uh, Stephen, first basket they scored, they got an inside screen, and we didn't put a bump on it. We didn't beat the guy across the lane. Uh, they pushed us way out. Offensively, we were screening air, uh, and they took us out of everything we wanted to do. Uh, then we settled down, and you know, we started screening and, and working a little bit harder to get open. Uh, we had some good things happen for us. Uh, you can't win a game in this league on the road and be 11 for 21 from the free throw line and turn over 18 times. Uh, we had opportunities. We had chances. Um, we cut it to two. We took a quick shot. Zone, I thought slowed him down and got him a little bit out of rhythm. But, you know, Snare made that big three, and then I think they got the ball inside to uh, Solomon one time on the, on, the, on the left block and turned in and shot that little jump hook. But you know, we uh, we competed offensively a little bit better after the first five ten minutes. Um, we competed on the backboards a little bit better, but again, in this league, and I told the guys before the game, I mean, you're never out of a game if you continue to play hard. Compete, compete at a high level. You, know, you can find a way to grind your way back into the game. And we're able to do that. We just won't be able to get, aren't able to get over the hump. Questions for Coach? Did they do anything to surprise you defensively, or was it just? Kind no, of I mean, we knew coming out of that, you know, the tough loss that they were going to come out with a tremendous sense of urgency. I mean, we, you know, they were going to attack us and try to get us to react to them. I mean, that wasn't. Shot. You know, I can talk all I want, but they've got you know, our guys better um, You know, we just, uh, they're so long. And I think that's the big thing. They're just so long. Um, you know, I was joking with Singleton in front of our benchers in the game. I said, please let us get one to the rim. I mean, the guy, you know, he was like a human backboard. Uh, we wanted to pump fake and crack him. Uh, we didn't pump fake hard enough, and we didn't think. Just weren't able to finish. It's good, Mark. Just wrecked the place. Uh, you know, but uh, you know, I mean, no. What they did, we expect them to do. The speed of the game to start the game is probably the thing that our guys were not locked into as coaches we were. But uh, and then you, know, you got to, you know, you know, we got chances to get back in the game. We missed free throw. Um, Zone, like I said, was good to us, uh, and we rebounded pretty well out of the zone. Uh, that three that snare made towards the end of the shot clock really, really hurt us. Uh, and then we had some possessions where you know, we had the game right where we wanted, and we just weren't as good as we needed to be to win on the road. So how difficult was it playing pretty much without Jeff the entire night? I, you know, I thought JT, you know, five steals. I thought JT gave us great minutes. Uh, obviously, you know, we need Jeff in there. As good as we can be, but you know, that's why you have bench. That's why you have, you know, more than you know, seven or eight guys on scholarship. Uh, you know, JT gave us great energy, he played really, really hard. He attacked the basket, he was active in the zone. Um, you know, but, but we just need, you know, it's the same thing. We just need Jeff to be more consistent and disciplined. So, if you win a lot of ACC arenas, what is it about this place that's so tough for you to win? It's hard to win. It's hard to win anywhere on the road. It's not just this arena. This, this is the ACC. It's hard to win on the road. I mean, we've had chances. And, you know, I mean, it's just, just the way that got good players. He's, you know, a very, very good coach. They play extremely hard. And uh, you know, we've had chances to win. We have a won. I mean, that's just. It's not like it's a 30-year drought. You know, I mean, I won here when I was in South Florida. So I guess. Had that experience. It's just you know they've had a good team. We've been in the league, you know, five years. It's our sixth year. It's not like you know, it, it's we've been in the league the forever because of the, their length and so forth. Well, yeah. If you were here in town, you probably would have found that out. Of course, it's. I mean, you know, they had you know nine blocks. You know I mean, like they're long and athletic and quick, and they've got size across the front line. They're a very good, talented team. Play really hard and are extremely fundamentally sound defensively. You mentioned Singleton. I mean, he only scored two points, but the guy does so many other things. Yeah, you know, he affects the game so many different ways. I mean, you know, he's so long and active. I mean, you 
got to be aware of them. Getting to the glass, you got to be aware of them. You know, the one play he made where he took it right down the front of the rim. Uh, but defensively, it's you know, you know, you're dealing with Alibi, you're dealing with Singleton, you're dealing with Reed. You know, you know Gibson comes in and gives him length. Uh, you know, the Mercy's long. You know, Derwin is really, really long. And, you know, and, they, and they made, you know, let's face it. I mean, they made Malcolm work you know, the whole game. Put some different guys on them, made it hard for them to catch the ball, but you know they you know, they've got great length and they're terrific defensively. Like I said, uh, Leonard does a great job. But they, this is the league; they're a top 20 team. We we're playing on the road and we had a chance to win, but you know, I'm just disappointed that the first five minutes we weren't as tough as we needed to be. You know, in terms of getting open and, and, and working to get the ball where we need to get it. Overall, did your defense make it tougher? Did you get good looks today? I think I just answered. Did you, did you say anything to Jeff at halftime after the game? I just told him the first play we were going to run, run a set for him to try to get him going. I, I was regarding the fouls at all. I know you had to send, send some. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, no. well, I mean, the second foul that they called the exact, or the third foul, they called the exact same foul. The other end there, we got a call. They had Shannon backing our guy down, yeah. and then Jeff did the same thing down the other end. You know, I mean, it's just, uh, yeah, don't foul. Play hard, don't foul. Was that last play, was it? Yeah, was to was that was, that was, that was, we should have ran on the play we called Jet. And, uh, we ended up half the guys on Jet, half the guys on home run. I mean, just, uh, you, know, we, you know, three seconds. We ideally should have gotten the ball to Malcolm on the run where he could, you know, three seconds. He can, he can get that thing over half court pretty easily if he catches on the run. That was, that's my fault. We weren't as organized as we needed to be, so I'll take responsibility for that. Anything else for Coach? Thanks, Jeff.